Meantime, a showdown is underway at a U.S. Senate committee between Democrats, Republicans, and U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. The key issue, Canada. Let's go to Ottawa now, where Michelle Boyer has been following the story, and he can explain it all for us. Michelle, what happened? Well, U.S. Senators, Jen, well, they are not happy. Ever since the retaliatory tariffs that have been slapped on the United States after they put on national security tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum, well, American businesses are hurting and senators are not happy about it. They're questioning the administration's motives and intent on these national security tariffs. Uh, and they're not really happy with the answers that they're getting from the U.S. trade ambassador. We put a little montage of some of what was said earlier on today. Take a look. Aren't we risking doing tremendous damage to our own domestic industries by using the national security justification. If you've made an, a decision that it's in the national interest to save the steel industry, then you have to put in place a program that actually works. Is Canada a national security threat to the United States, justifying Section 232 action against Canada? Yes or no? Uh, in the case of steel, yes, absolutely. Because of the nature of the program, for sure. That, that's, of that, it, otherwise, you don't have a program. You don't but, have a program if you let some... No, no, I'm not talking about program. You have identified a country. I'm sorry. You've identified a country. This is a country who uses our equipment. This is a country who has been with us every step of the way. And I guess, again, are they a national security threat to the United States? Nobody's declaring war on Canada or saying they're an unfriendly neighbor. They're obviously not. They're a great ally and, and, and uh, certainly one of America's closest friends and closest trading partners. Now, I don't know what kind of data or information you have that would show that Canadian imports uh, of steel or any other products would impair the functioning of our steel industry. So some tough questions there for Mr. Lighthizer, because in, again, how does Canada pose a national security risk? Yeah, and a lot of this comes down to China. Lighthizer had said, and other senators agreed, that the issue is with China uh, creating an oversupply of steel right around the world. Canada has put in place uh, measures to limit transshipment. So that is when China, for example, will ship steel and aluminum uh, to Canada with the hopes of having that uh, flood the United States. Uh, but really, senators are saying, hey, listen, the problem here is China. It's not Canada. Back off our allies. Yeah. And just quickly, Michelle, what does this mean then for the future of NAFTA? Because earlier this morning, I thought I read there were some positive talks coming out of that, and it could be back on. Yeah, that's right. Mexico has said it's going to fight for a three-way deal. Also, that a sunset clause is a no-go uh, for that country, something similar to what we heard uh, Canada say. And we've heard that uh, a sunset clause effectively would mean a lot of uncertainty around the trade deal, which is counterproductive and counterintuitive to the purpose of the deal uh, as a whole. So we're hearing that talks are going to be moving forward uh, exactly when and at what rate. Details have been firmed up yet. Okay. Michelle Boyer with the latest from Ottawa. Thank you.